Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to the VIA pinstriping page. Um, if you're new, please subscribe. Um, feel free to share the video or comment and like and all that good stuff. So today I just kind of wanted to show you guys and gals how I transfer my one-shot paint from the can to the PET bottles. So um, I have another video showing kind of where to get these, um, but I, I get them from... Uh, from a website online that sells basically nothing but plastic bottles and, and containers. I actually can't remember at the moment where uh, what the name of the website is, but I'll put a link if I can later. Um, but basically they're like this. This is a smaller one that I got. Uh, I think I got this little one at Target or something like that, but that's only three ounces. I think that might be four, four or six ounces, the taller one. So basically what I do is I'll get kind of a half of a piece of magazine and I'll just kind of turn it into a funnel. Uh, so something like that. I'll just fold it, you know, to make sure there's an opening at the bottom. And uh, this is real crude, just kind of showing you. I'll just throw some tape on there, throw some tape on it, and I have a little funnel. So I'll stick it into the bottle there and just put a bunch of tape in there to, to make sure this is going to stay on there no matter what because when I go to tip this can in there uh, I'm going to leave it there for a few minutes to make sure it all drains out uh, another one of the things that I like to do is put in some of these uh, rattlers from the Alpha 6 Corporation uh, which you could find online as well just type in uh, Alpha 6 at Big Cartel or something like that um, you could also use ball bearings or you know a nut really you don't have to use these it's just I have access to them so put a couple in there and uh, what I'll do is open up my paint I think this is a can of peacock blue which I've never bought before I just wanted to try out this color um, sometimes I like to give it a little stir to make sure it kind of drops in there evenly. Now I do like to wait until I'm going to practice or do some painting uh, before I go to transfer these bottles or transfer this paint because uh, there usually is a little bit left over at the bottom that doesn't uh, transfer. I'd imagine if you were to poke a hole in here somewhere like in the edge you probably could get a little bit better uh, coverage or a, a better uh, drain. So I just kind of pour that in there slowly. Now I would normally try to make sure I'm pouring directly into the hole but I don't want to put my head in front of the camera there. So I don't know if you can see but going in there pretty good. I always make sure that uh, when you when you make the funnel that you make the hole large enough and I'll just leave that in there and I let it drain um, if you're feeling like it might tip over put it up against the corner of a wall somewhere in the corner um, and allow it to drain out for as long as you feel comfortable and then uh, I try to keep this at a little bit of an angle, so as, as you can see it's kind of tilted, so it's all going to come out of one angle. Um, later on I might spin it around and use the other side to try to get the rest of it that might be trapped in the other corner. So yeah, just, uh, you know, I make them real quick out of a magazine. So I use a half a, half a page because if I use a whole page, uh, it's too tall maybe save money on funnels I don't know I really just this is <laughs> this is just the way I figured out how to do it some of y'all might have better ideas uh, I know some some folks don't even use the bottles but I have really enjoyed uh, the quick access to the paint with those so uh, I've, I've definitely made the switch over to the PET bottles um, so yeah just wanted to make a video on that uh, I hope it helps and have a good day.